<laughs> we are back, sweetie, with Mayhem Miller. Yes. Uh, now, what, what, when did you officially come out to your family? Um, I came out when I was 18. Mm -hmm. It was my senior year of high school. Um, and <laughs> I, me and my mother were always really close. And I was like, okay, I got to I gotta come out. I got to tell her what this is because I was struggling with it for so long. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I'm 18. I'm about to graduate. And my life is probably going to go in a different direction. Let's just be honest and be your true self. Yeah. So I sat her down because one day she was just like, what's going on with you? Huh. There's something different. What's going on? And I was like, I don't want to talk about it. And I was like, can you just take me to rehearsal? And she was like, no, something's wrong. What's wrong? Are you on drugs? What's mm. going on? And I was like, oh my God, lady, no. I just like <gasps> dick, but <laughs> <laughs> dick could be a drug. Is, it, well, is that how you put it? You were like, mom, I just like dick. Oh my God, no. I hope she never Never? Oh my God. <laughs> I really do. Um, no, so I sat her down and I was just like, you know what? I'm gay. And she was like, no, you're not. And I was like, okay, I'm bi. <laughs> I was like, uh, let's, let's try to fix it. I'm bi, I'm bi. And she's like, no, you're not. Let's pray about this. And I was oh, like, oh, Lord. shit, here we go. So okay, we had to have the whole prayer and just laying of hands and speaking in tongues and all that stuff. Oh, and, God. And I was just like, oh, my God, don't tell Dad. I was like, just please don't tell Dad. And she was like, I'm not going to say anything, but we're going we're gonna to fix this. Oh, we're no. We're going to fix this. <laughs> and so I was like, okay. Two days go by, and I'm just sitting there watching Will and Grace in my room. And my door, again, knock at the door, and it's my dad. And I'm like, hey. He comes in, he has the Bible in his hands. And he's like, we need to talk. And I'm like, oh, let me turn this, this TV show off before he realizes what the hell I'm watching. <laughs> so I was like, um, yes. And he was, he was like, um, your mom said that you're, you're lost. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, not. <laughs> I'm in your house. I know exactly where I'm at. He's like, no, you're confused. You're not gay. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about this for a while. Oh, God. And, um, I got invited to like a place where you can, you know, fix that. Oh, we all know those work so well. Uh, that must I, have been scary. Um, it was definitely scary because I did not feel that my parents were really trying to understand where I was coming from. They were just yeah. like, the the religious aspect of our, our our family kicked in real quick and they weren't trying to hear me for what I was trying to let them know about. They right. were just like, no, you're a sinner and we're gonna fix this and we're gonna act Oof. like this didn't happen. When did it start to switch? Um, I left home for a while. Uh, they, uh, there was a really, bad, a really bad fight. I went home one night uh, in drag thinking everyone was asleep. I went, I ran into the house to like grab uh, my cell phone. I left it in the house and I was like, shit. I was like, everyone should be asleep by now. I'm just gonna run in there, grab it, and then run back out and hop in my friend's car and go to the party. And I ran in the house and as I was coming down the stairs, my dad was coming up the stairs and we ran smack into each other. Oh my God. And he was like, and imagine me back in drag, 16 years ago. So it wasn't all of this It was not a realness <laughs> It wasn't this real. So he was like, what the fuck is this? And oh. I was just like, shit. And then of course, it escalated to a point where I had to leave home. Oh, sweetie. Yeah. And so where did you go, Morgan's house? No, no, <laughs> actually, uh, me and Morgan really weren't that close back then. Mm. We, were, we were good friends, but we weren't that close. Where did close. you go? Um, Oh gosh, I can't believe I'm actually talking about this. Shit, I'm gonna end up crying again. Fuck. Um, I um, I went to the club, anyways, and I was like, I'm gonna dance. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. dance, and I'm gonna have a good time, and I'm not gonna think about this. And then once two o'clock came, it it hit me. Where the fuck am I gonna go? So I start walking down the street, and I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking find a place to lay down and oh my gosh, um, figure it out and. Uh, luckily, my one of my friends at that time was driving by, and he was like, "Where the fuck are you going? Dressed like that?" And I was like, uh, "I actually don't know." Oh my goodness! And um, he was like, "Get in the car." So uh, he took me to his house. Um, we stopped at the 24-hour Walmart. He bought me um, a toothbrush, mm. and toothpaste, um, some socks, and a T-shirt, um, and some some uh, some sweats and with some body wash and was like, you're gonna stay here. Wow. Until we figure out what you're gonna do. And I was like, 
and oh God, um, he was my best friend, and uh, he was like the love of my life. Wow. Yeah. When did it start to turn around with your mom? Um, I ended up going back home, and I just tried to like have more conversations with them to try to get them more familiar with accepting my lifestyle and, and who I am and letting them know that I have not changed as a person. They're just now learning more about me. Right. And because I think what they thought is that they that I was changing as a person and I was not going to be the same Dewan. Mm -hmm. And I had to keep reaffirming to them, I am still the same person. You just now know more about me. Right, the real you or the full complete picture. Now you get to know all of me. Yeah. The one the the the, the May that everyone sees at night at the at the club and hang out with now you're starting to know who this person is. And when you finally got on drag race, was that like a what was that conversation? Because it's all these years of trying, but also years of you trying to get your mom to accept you. Um, what was that that conversation like? And was able she able to accept it like you hoped? Yes. Um, <laughs> I was actually recording my video, my audition tape, at my parents' house. Okay. And I would do it in their garage. And um, she would come in every so often just to check on me because I'd be like saying lines or doing stuff, just you know, and being really loud late at night. And she'll just walk in and she'll be like, "Are you okay? <laughs> you cool in here?" And I'm like, okay. <laughs> "I was like just recording, trying to get on this damn TV show, girl." I'm like, so she was like, "Okay," like, and then when I got the call, she was like, "Oh wow," she's like, "You really want this?" And I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "You're going to do good." She, wow. And I was like, all right. She's like, don't worry, you're going to be great. Was it that under? Mm hmm And it, did that feel incredible? It did. It did, because um, my parents' uh, approval means the world to me. And yeah. me making them proud is my sole purpose, is to make them happy. And um, them seeing me do this and how hard I worked to get it, yeah. And then watching the episode and seeing and hearing it, not from me, but seeing it on television and me sh showing my raw emotion towards getting on Drag Race, I think that's what really cemented it for them. Like, God damn, this is something that he really, really, really wanted and he did it. So I, you know, I made them really proud. And you did it, honey. That's got to feel great. I it mean, does. beautiful. It does. Now, you have a lot of extended family. Yes. All your sisters. Mm -hmm. All the I mean, for, <laughs> for the kids that don't know, I mean, you really came up with Morgan and Raven especially, right? You guys were right around the same time. You guys were oh, yeah. backup dancing for Go-Go. For, for, you were Go-Go boys for people doing pop acts or for other drag queens? Uh-huh. Yeah, go, I go mean, dancing for another other drag. Oh right, you were go go dancing oh for my another drag. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is probably the look that your father saw on the stairs. Look at Raven. Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at Raven. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm good. Uh, you look gorgeous. I'm cool. Just delicious. I'm cool, but <laughs> oh, the transformation. That was Santa Barbara Pride in like 2003, maybe. Wow. Yeah. So you guys kind of came up on the scene boy style together. Yes. And then when did you guys tiptoe into drag? Um, I remember Morgan tipping into drag before we did. Uh -huh. um, I didn't really know Raven that well. We just, I recognized her from going out all the time. Right. And we, uh, there was a competition at our home bar and she entered it. I just wanted to go in drag just to go watch and support my friends, because Morgan, I believe, was in it too, and another friend of ours. And um, I just sat in the audience in drag, and the host was like, you're that boy that always be dancing in his thong. On his <laughs> and I was like, yeah. And she's like, why aren't you in the competition? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I just wanted to come and hang out. Like, that's it. And she's like, no, you need to fucking be on stage. And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right, actually. <laughs> And so I was like, and that's what, how I, I, I tipped into it. Like, I was like, okay, fine, I'll get up in here. And, more, and Morgan was like, judges, this is shade. <laughs> oh, well, you know, because you know, she could not hold a candle to me. Ah. Still can't. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God. And you guys did the traditional drag queen hustle, the kind that was the only way to go before Drag Race, yes. which was show up everywhere for free, for free, every night, looking stunning and doing the most. For free and doing the absolute most. It was always like, why are you called the queen of the party? And I'm like, <laughs> honey, in the day. <laughs> she would enter the party and not only crash it, but end everything. <laughs> don't, don't fuck up and not give her her drink tickets because then she's shutting the whole shit down. <laughs> Everybody going home. But yes. yeah, like that's what you had to do. You had to hit the pavement and you had to go out every night and make sure that your shit was fucking great and just be there and be present and work for free for Ever. Well, there's a reason why Mayhem has been, uh, you know, the queen of the party and a showstopper on stages all across Southern California and now the world. You have pumped some incredible looks throughout your career, and let's take a look at some of them. Okay. This ah! is one of my favorites. Stunning. Thank you. St Lady Red, you love this one, don't you? Uh, yes, B. Come on, Aquamarine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now, that is one of my most favorite. Erica, that's one of your most favorites my of all most time. My most favorite. Yeah, of course. Thank you. I think I've done that one a couple times. It's one of my favorites. You look amazing. Thank you. It's one of my favorite, favorite numbers to do. Um, I just did it recently with our little uh, Battle of the Seasons when my season did a big show for uh after DragCon. That's the and great thing. You have all of these these ones that you know slay. So when you go on these big tours or whatever, you can pull them it out. It was hilarious. I walked into the dressing room and everyone was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, oh, y'all oh y'all, oh, y'all, thought I didn't have no looks. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> I, I did hear that on one of the episodes. <laughs> Miss Asia. Oh, snap. Aquaria. <laughs> oh. I was like, nah, bitches, I got looks, honey. Mm -hmm. I just got sent home too soon. Correct. Uh, you also have this Spice Girls realness. Uh, yes, oh look my at the god. Girls. Now, what this lineup is Morgan as Posh. We have my daughter, no, Jasmine. She's 40. Miss Jasmine Simone as, Jasmine uh, Simone as baby. baby. You are, of course, scary. We have uh, uh, Trina Modell as Ginger. Yes. And then, of course, Raven as Posh. Well, of course, Raven as Posh and Morgan as Sporty. Yes. yes. That is quite a lineup. So now you were pumping all these looks, doing all this stuff for years in, in California, and everybody kept getting on the goddamn drag race. Yes. Oh, first it was Morgan and Raven on the same season, right? Yeah, well, no, first girl that got on um, from here was Chanel for season right, one. Chanel. Yes, so Chanel got on, and then season two came around, and uh, they, were, they came to Mickey's scouting for girls. And I remember me, Morgan, and Raven were like, no, we're not interested. No, girl. Ugh, girl, who watches Drag Race? Ew. <laughs> oh, my God. And those bitches fucking did a tape and oh didn't tell me. Oh, my God. I really? thought we were being sisters. Oh, oh I never told anyone. No, this you don't. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on one second. Get your team. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's get into the story. Okay, okay. So... <laughs> They, we all were like, no, we're not even interested. Da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden, I come to find out, like Morgan was like, hey girl, um, I'm gonna be gone for a while. Um, could you uh, do take care of stuff at the house, like checking on my dad and stuff? And I was like, what are you talking about? Where are you going? I thought she was going to Scotland to visit family or something for a while. And then she's like, oh, well, I'm gonna be filming this show. And I was like, did you, did you audition for that show? And she's like, oh, well, yeah. And I was like, you Bitch, I thought, and then, and then all of a sudden I call Raven to like schedule her for the show, and then she's not returning my calls, and I was like, oh, this bitch too. Oh, they lied to me. Wow. They just didn't want me to be competition. Ooh, Ooh snap. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah, shady bitches. The drama of yeah. it all. Yeah. Lied to me, said that they weren't interested in drag race and they auditioned anyway. And then you had to audition for another eight years. Oh, yeah. Oh, sis. Oh, yeah. oh my God. Yeah. That was juicy. That was a juicy story. Thank you. 
All right, we're gonna be back with much more mayhem because, honey, we got a deep dive into her time on the race. Uh, Make dun, sure, dun, 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 dun. Make sure you follow Hey Queen on Facebook, Instagram, Black People Meet, Twitter, uh, Christian <laughs> Mangle, <laughs> Growler, Scruff, all the rest. See you in a minute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> children. To see part three of this interview, click here. To see more Hey Queen fabulousness, click here. And don't forget to subscribe, bitch! Hey! 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 <laughs>